Hello and welcome. This is Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at a video from QI called Fright Interesting, a spooky compilation. I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be very fun. Um, I like QI. I enjoy uh, the videos that they've put out. They're very funny. Um, and this one is going to be a little spooky because I am looking for spooky videos for Halloween season. So if you have spooky videos, uh, creepy tales, um, it can be legitimately scary or it can be sort of silly as like this one's going to be. It's like, I would like, I want it all to have sort of a Halloween-y kind of bent um, this October. So lay it on me in the comments below. Um, I'm really looking forward to this and I don't want to waste any more time. So let's go. Hi, Alan. Now, what nice. should you use to make a traditional jack-o'-lantern? Pumpkin. Pump oh, well, it's going to be a turnip. Tradition, I mean, pumpkins were used, I think, really, really early on, but turnips, I think, were the first thing that they used. <laughs> No, it's not a pumpkin. Yes, a turnip. A turnip is exactly right. Ooh, yes, yeah. very good. Uh, so turnips there on the left, and if you can't get a turnip, something called a mangle wurzel, which is on the right. Do you know where the tradition of Halloween comes from? I'm looking at Ashley. Best country in the world, Sandy? Denmark. Oh, no. No. Um, <laughs> Ireland. Came from Ireland from Salm, S-A-M-H-A-I-N, which is yep. Halloween, yep. All Hallows' Eve. Yep. We celebrate our dead. How do you say? Because it looks like Sam Hain. Yeah. It does. And it drives me crazy in uh, movies or TV shows where they're like, ah, Sa or Sam Hain. Sam Hain, like Sam Hain. They pronounce it all sorts of weird ways. It's Sawan. It's, it just is. <laughs> I don't remember when I learned that, but like, I learned it long enough ago that it frustrates me when it's said the wrong thing. Um, and the only show I've ever watched that used the correct pronunciation of Samhain was freaking BBC's Merlin. Samhain. 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 Just haven't got time to say the whole thing properly. Yeah. <laughs> Very busy people. Samhain. Speaking of these kinds of infectious issues, Alan, you're a zombie. You bite Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, great. You're not a zombie. <laughs> you bite Jack. Jack bites. <laughs> Jimmy looks. Jimmy looks so offended. Look at look at Jimmy's. Look at poor Jimmy Carr. This issue, Alan. You're a zombie. You bite Jimmy. Jimmy, you're not a zombie. <laughs> you bite. Look look how offended Jimmy Carr is. Jack. Jack bites. Mel and so on. So. <laughs> right? so. <laughs> and yet they all look like Alan. Stephen, come on, Stephen. Hugh. Ten points. Ten points now, Stephen, if you know our name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it's that warm personal touch that you oh, get when you come on this show. So <laughs> get the camera about. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. You should be. I'm so I'm No one sorry. noticed you. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I've just been bitten and been called the wrong name. <laughs> right? So no. Right? I was just like, mm, that's that's the Bake Off lady. I was like, Mel? That's the other Bake Off lady. Wrong Bake Off lady, Stephen! Oh, sorry. Yes, you've been bitten. Point is, there you are. The reciprocation has gone on. You've all been, yeah. you've all been turned into zombies. What I want to know What's is her how... Name? So, yeah, no, so, yeah. Mel is the other Bake Off lady. I was like, Sue? <laughs> I was, my, my brain went to Prue for a second, but I was like, no. That is just kind of funny, though. How long it would take for the whole planet, everyone in the world, to be turned into a zombie? Fifteen minutes. That's six point eight billion people. I reckon it would take about. F how are they travelling? Just in that. Uh, well, the trouble. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> really, that like is holding the a tea tray on a cruise ship. Because, <laughs> like, okay, I'm thinking now about the movie Bullet Train. All it took was one person getting on the train who'd been bit. And by, uh, like, and, you know, by the end of the hour, <laughs> the entire train was gone. But, like, by that point, also, most of the country was, uh, was, uh, taken over. And who knows? So, like, somebody got on a plane, right? Somebody happened to get bit. They got on a plane. 
now they've carried it somewhere else. Like, you know, even if, especially if it was a short flight and maybe the flight crashed and, you know, not some of them survived. I mean, I feel like there are ways for them to have crossed an ocean. Very limited ways. I don't think they could have crossed an ocean in the movie Bullet Train just based on how fast things were acting. I think that if someone was on a plane having just been bit, it would be still very difficult. Like, I don't, I think just how much the chaos would happen, I think the plane would crash before it got across the ocean. That is, um, oh, yes, millennia. I think it's a, I think it's a trick question. Because he's, you're vegetarian, and you wouldn't bite me, I don't think. You'd have a salad. I wouldn't, be, <laughs> I wouldn't consume you, but I would be prepared to kill you and turn you into one of me. <laughs> <laughs> we will all live in windmills and solve crime. <laughs> <laughs> we all live in windmills and solve crime. It's not letting me... Um, it, okay, there it goes. It, I don't know why... Because it was still saying it was a 180p, or 1080p, but it wasn't. <laughs> windmills and solve crime. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah, so, zombies. Yeah. Oh, no, two, no, four, I don't know eight, how long it would take. take. Thirty-two. But six they're all four. biting one. Oh, so it, it oh. multiplies out. It's an exponential growth. It, that's the yes. point. Although it's six point eight billion. Hour. Isn't there that great thing that they did? The Chinese emperor did Three something. Three hours. Chessboard. <laughs> yeah. Three did the hours. Board where some guy said to him, I'll, "You pay me one grain of rice for the first day, and two for the second mm. day, and then four, and then eight. And the guy said, "Oh, no problem at all. That doesn't sound like very much at all. And then by the end of the chessboard, it's all the rice in the world. It's more than all the rice in the world. It's way more than all the rice <laughs> in the world. It's a staggering amount. It's sixty-four squares. It's eight by eight. I'll tell you how many it is i'm gonna have to read it because it's not the kind of number even easy. jimmy's just still sitting there like oh 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 we're actually going into this then steven i wasn't expecting you to like go into it with such detail you memorize it's 18 quintillion 446 quadrillion 744 trillion 73 billion 709 and million, just looks unimpressed. 551 thousand 615 grand <laughs> and mel's like no and now i'm doing it sue is like frantically writing it down which is what the whole world could possibly produce in 80 years if all arable land was converted. So if that's 64, I reckon, I don't know, uh, 30 days. Well, not bad, 38 days, is it? 38, 38. days. 38, all right. Full infection rate. <laughs> <laughs> I did not what like that. Happened, this is my question to you. What happened to three quarters <laughs> of the people accused of witchcraft in England? Uh, hung. I think they were, they were hung, I think. Because from what I recall, very few people were actually burned at the stake, even though that's like the image we get. Uh, that was more for heretics. But I think, I think they were hung. Drowned, burned, killed. Oh. <laughs> we were much gentler than you might think. They were acquitted. Oh. Really? Yeah. Is that the same? That oh, wait. He said UK. Drowned, burned. 80 years. But not bad. <laughs> what happened, this is my question to you, what happened to three quarters <sighs> of the people accused of witchcraft in England? In England, okay. All right. I was like, I'm pretty sure more of them, I don't know, I, maybe, maybe they were nicer in America too, but I'm pretty sure there was a lot of people who got hung for, for it in America. Drowned, burned, killed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We were much gentler than you might think. They were acquitted. Really? Yeah. Is that the same, the wrong message to witches? <laughs> <I say. laughs> we were apparently rather resistant to the idea of um, destroying witches in, in England, and yeah. unlike um, views espoused in so-called books, and I use the word book very loosely, like the Da Vinci Code. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh throwing shade, complete huh? complete loose stool water. It is arse gravy of the worst kind. <laughs> oh, gross! No, thank you, Stephen! Oh, that's... Evocative in all of the worst ways. Oh no! Ugh! Gross. He's a blues singer. Please be welcome, Blue Stall Water. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> well, that particular panful of that material <laughs> did claim that about five million women were burned or oh, hanged no. around Europe for being witches. There's absolutely no evidence there's anything like as much that. Probably 
about 500, probably less, in England. And they weren't burned, they were hanged. The lawyer would have said, maybe not go to court dressed like that. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like that, that was that was the look of the brewers though it was like the big pointy hat and like you know they wore dark people would wear dark clothes because it was you know they were easier to look make look clean you know like you don't want creams if you're going to be working and like you know it's darker clothes to kind of don't look dirty and then you the women would because they were mostly it was women who were beer brewers back in the day would have a big pointy hat to like when they were out in the markets or whatever. So people would know that they were a brewer. So they would know where to take, we get their business from. And like the cauldron thing comes from, because they would draw giant bats of hops and shit that they were brewing. So it looked like they were, you know, like cauldron imagery. And a lot of them probably did have cats because, you know, you got to keep the wheat and the grain, you know, free of mice. So it's like, that's where a lot of the uh, imagery and iconography comes from. Um, was from the brewers um and you know a lot of them did probably get accused because like if you were getting accused as a brewer it was probably because people didn't like the fact that you're an independent woman because they because because people didn't like that <laughs> it's the only evidence that two were burned the rest were hanged probably about four or five hundred at the most there are lots of hammer films the devil rides out and those kind of things. Usually Peter Cushing, and sometimes, if you were very lucky, they would have Charles Gray in a huge white smock. Peter Cushing <laughs> lived in Whitstable when I, was, when I lived in Whitstable, and a local band had a song about him which went, Peter Cushing lives in Whitstable, I have seen him on his bicycle, I have seen him buying vegetables, Peter Cushing lives in Whitstable. <laughs> Great song. <laughs> Great song. Which? Horny member of royalty is immune from any form of legal prosecution. <laughs> yes. Oh. Prince Andrew. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the easy one. Oh no, Ash. I mean, like she's feel it feels correct. <laughs> oh, she looks so uh, pleased with herself too. Like, gotcha. I got someone to say it. <laughs> It's going to be something with horns. Yes. Is it like a royal cow or something? No, there should be. The I royal think. cow. <laughs> the snail. <laughs> <what you're doing>. <laughs> <laughs> the snail. Brian from Magic Round. Magic Round. Oh. <laughs> Come on out, horny member of royalty. In the context of the occult, yes. who is a horny royal? The devil. The devil is exactly devil. right. You can't prosecute the devil. No. So the devil is a is counted as royalty? I guess he's king of hell. And, and you know, I'm sure someone's tried to sue the devil. Someone's tried to sue God. So like, I'm sure someone's tried to sue the devil. In 1971, there was an American called Gerald Mayo attempted to sue the devil. And there is the case. Satan and his staff. All of the demons too. <laughs> Satan and his staff. And I mean, what kind of staff are we talking about here? That's what I want to know. Inquiring minds go to certain places. <laughs> First employees, but then I thought about it for a second. I was like, hmm, what kind of staff are we talking about here? It was heard by the uh, U.S. District Court for the Western District of Pennsylvania. Mr. Mayo alleged Satan has on numerous occasions caused plaintiff misery and unwarranted threats. Wow. Against the will of the plaintiff, Satan has placed deliberate obstacles in his path Dang. and has caused the plaintiff's downfall. Why is he Gerald so important that the that Satan himself is like actively like plotting his downfall? Gerald, what did you do? The first point that was raised by the judge, a man called Gerald J. Weber, was that he wasn't sure that they could prosecute Satan as Satan was technically a foreign prince. <laughs> and if sued, he might be able to claim immunity. Surely it's a typo. He meant Stan. <laughs> <laughs> and in the end, they refused his request because nobody could find an address to serve the Satan the papers. <laughs> yes, you have to put it in their hand, don't yeah. you? Otherwise it doesn't count. Well, you... Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Which popular game traditionally ends? Steven, no. Who dressed you and why did they do that? That's too many things happening all at the same time. Oh dear. 
oh dear, I don't like how that green and the blue, I don't think the green and the blue go together. It would have needed to be a white coat, I think, and needs to be only worn on Easter. Or St. Patrick's Day, maybe. I'm like, that's a lot. That's a lot of things happening at once. And they don't quite work in my, for me, for me anyway. It's for someone else. Maybe this is a great look. I don't think it works. With all the players being thrown into a lake of fiery sulfur. Well, I hope it's show jumping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the question? I hate show jumping. I being thrown in if I'm the dress to serve the seat in the papers. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I was making I was too distracted by his tie. I didn't um hear the qu full question. So. Yes, you have to put it in their hand, don't yeah. you? Otherwise it doesn't count. Well, you, yeah. <laughs> now which popular game traditionally popular ends game. with all the players being thrown into a lake of fiery sulfur? Well, I hope it's show jumping. Rebellion <laughs> We just talked about Satan no, and his staff. <laughs> I'd have one of those after every jump. Before <laughs> and after. Yeah. It's not show jumping, though. It's, it would certainly liven it up. I it sounds, it sounds uh, biblical. I don't think it's the well, humans, does it? It's, it's pieces. Wouldn't it be pieces? Well, I'll tell you that it's a game that went dramatically out of fashion in 1972. Early 72, it was more popular than Monopoly. But by the end of 72, it had almost completely gone out of fashion because... Okay. Is it a real sulfur pit? Because of a film. Mousetrap. <laughs> Mousetrap. No, there no. is no film of Because Mousetrap. of a film, is it drafts? <laughs> In that film, drafts. <laughs> the film the truth. The truth about winters, drafts. It? No. Drafts makes you go bored. No. Don't play drafts. <laughs> The film is oh. not a game, there's a game in it. There's a game this in game the... is played in it and it's scary. Oh, is it a seance? Yeah, Ouija it boards. is a seance using a Ouija board. Okay. Right. And what film has there a Ouija board? Uh, uh, so many! It's probably like The Conjuring or something. But like, what what horror movie these days, or even in the... Okay, the 70s, the 70s, the 70s, the 70s. Omen? The Omen, maybe? I'm trying to remember. It wouldn't have been the because the conjuring was a new is a new one. I'm I'm thinking maybe the omen is the movie. Um Exorcism of Emily R Exorcism? When was that? When did Exorcism come out? That wasn't that might have been the 70s with Linda Blair. When did Okay, Google. When did the Exorcism come out? 1973. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna guess the Exorcism was the movie. The Exorcist, um, the Exorcist yeah. is the Exorcist. right answer. One yeah. of the truly great films of the 20th century. Is a Ouija board really a game? I don't remember ever seeing Ouija board scenes it, in a film and at the end going, right, who won? You can buy them at a toy store, so yes, it's a game. Vera, <laughs> <laughs> not dead. <laughs> well, the odd thing about Ouija, it was a board, it still belongs to Parker Brothers. Uh, but that's why it ends with uh, everyone in the pit of sulfur or whatever, because you use a Ouija board, you go to hell. All right. Get out! Yeah. <laughs> it's a proprietary name. It's a it's trademark. Is it we ya? Yeah. Interesting point. That is some people's we theory of the name. We yeah. Yes, we the French and ya yeah, the German. But no one's quite sure about where the name came from. Except that it's a game that was invented. The board was invented and it was it was sold and people played it. I mean, it's weird to say that, but they enjoyed the fact that it nearly always works in as much as you know, people spell out words and they don't quite know how they're doing it. It's clearly not dead people. Yeah. And in no. fact, it was not originally it's supposed to someone be dead a little shit. Were, it was supposed to be that you contacted yourselves, a part of yourselves that automatically wrote. Hmm. Uh, it was not about sales. Dead people just joined in. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, ooh, this looks like fun. Okay. <laughs> this is the one for us. <laughs> Even when recently asked, only a third of the people who still use Ouija boards say they do it to contact dead people. And in the First World War, it was used oh. to contact your troops abroad, supposedly. So, so, hold on, are some dead people trying to communicate with the living through Monopoly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a court case in the 90s, I'm sorry to say, in Britain, a murder case, quite an important one, and the jury had to be dismissed because in their hotel overnight they used a Ouija board to try and contact the murdered person. And, <laughs> <laughs> and apparently the murdered person said, the guy in the dock is guilty, convict him. 
And he said, <laughs> but the, the judge heard about it and dismissed the jury quite rightly, you may Yeah, say. yeah. The awful thing was, if they'd done it in the jury room, the judge couldn't have dismissed them. Because the judge has no right in law to know what goes on in a jury room. The deliberations must yeah. be private. Unless he's dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good yeah, point, really Sean. <laughs> wow. That's so funny. Okay. The Ouija board is spelling out subscribe, which y'all should do here as well. That was good. Uh, <laughs> thanks to the channel member who suggested this one to me. Very much appreciated. Very fun. Very. F I did learn some things and I remembered some things. Things were pulled from my brain. Things that I used to know. Um, all right. Considering I've, like, seen, like, two horror movies ever in my life, I'm pretty proud of myself for, like, getting that one. Uh, the Exorcist? I think I called him... All right. When did The Omen come out? When did The Omen come out? 1976. So I was close with that one, too. Like, honestly, I was like, considering I've never seen either of those movies, the fact that I knew they both came out in the 70s and potentially would have a thing that would end up with people going into sulfur, I think I did a really good job. So be proud of me and hit like because you're proud of me. Um, that's how I'll know that I did awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, we've got stuff, a lot of stuff on Americans Learn. We have a lot of stuff over on Chicago Reacts, on Chicaname right now. I am watching Over the Garden Wall, which is just kind of fun, which is like a, again, it's whimsical. It's similar. It's a little more similar to this. It's kind of whimsical. It's not super scary. There are some weird dark imagery. Over on Patreon, I'm watching Castlevania as well. Um, and, you know. Also on page on uh, on Chicaname, we've been watching Black Clover, and there's been a bunch of zombies recently, so that's kind of spooky. So just you know, poke around some of our other channels. Links for all of those are in the description box below, and I will see you all in the next one.